This is kind of one of my pet peeves in that we have, it's absolutely taken over all of our lives. And I remember the, the onslaught of cell phones when they started probably 10, 12 years ago. And you could be, and this still happens, you'd be standing in a group of people. And to show the importance of someone, their phone would ring and they'd answer it in that group that were standing around. And I'm thinking, dude, we don't care what you have to say. I know it's a call from the president. I know you're important. But just not to excuse yourself and say, excuse me, I need to take this. Right. That just, and it just goes from there. What's, Colleen, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk the whole time. <laughs> Colleen, tell us, what oh, should we, that, what's happening? Oh, on a roll. I mean, and it's only gotten worse. And and now it's gone from the cell phone to texting to just uh, to people putting, you know, the whole headsets on and being completely, you know, oblivious to everybody around them. Absolutely. And we were worried about, do we worry about offending others? I mean, is that what etiquette no, is all no, about? No, we don't. <laughs> I mean, it really they is. They don't. Yeah, they don't. You're right. I, I, the they don't. Do you ha- that's what's bad about it. Do you have a, a list or do you have some uh, uh, bullet points here as far as cell phone etiquette, cell phone courtesy, what we should and should not do? Nobody's really come up with this as of yet. There's, I have like a whole slew of them. And, you know, they are kind of my pet peeves. But when you tell people about them, you know, because I do speeches about them, and I, you know, I, I mean, let, me, let me tell you the first thing, though. Be very, 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 very careful about going up to a stranger and telling them, especially if you're with children and maybe they're very, they're not using words that they should be using when there's other people around them. It doesn't even have to be children. Don't go up and say, excuse me, but could you please lower your voice because you're speaking very loud? Or could you please change the words that you're using because it's not the words I want my children to hear? Or in a movie theater, could you please turn off your phones because you're, you know, the lights on and you're talking or trying to listen to that. That could be dangerous. Well, if you're in church, yeah. you know, or in a funeral, it's a funeral. Go to somebody else. Go to a manager. Go to somebody that's in charge. Because if you go up to somebody, they're not going to listen to you, and all it's going it to it could actually go into well, we've had, a, a fight. We've had or, a, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and so don't do that. And the other thing, so just go to somebody that's in charge. So don't go to somebody actually, you know, because it, it could, it's very violent. Have the, have the electronics it. taken over our world? I mean, it seems like, you know, I'm standing, okay. in, the ba- I, I stand in the bathroom at the, at the wall unit there, and <laughs> some guy's next to you saying, oh, yeah, man, we're going to go play 36 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get to about now. <laughs> and I'm thinking... Or the worst, they're doing a business conversation. Yes. They are handling a proposal in there. While they're and sitting my on the job. And woman, I constantly flush. I will constantly flush because I'm hoping I'll interrupt their business <laughs> I do. I mean, that's terrible. I know I shouldn't probably tell people that, but that's terrible. I don't think, you know, when you go, that is make it a private time. Don't be talking about business or handling what you're going to do later on or what you're going to wear. Just make it a, you know, go to the bathroom and be done. Absolutely. It is. What's... And I, my biggest thing is be with the person that you're with. There you, you go. You know, not, you know, it's very offensive if all of a sudden, you know, Chuck, you're standing there. What's the message you're sending to Freddie or the person that you're with? That's, you're not interested in them. Yeah. To, exactly. Yeah. But the person you're talking to on the phone is more important than the person you're sitting to it, you know, or sitting with at that table or the crowd that you're with. The person that you're on the phone with or texting is much more important to you. How about getting in a fight with somebody on the telephone? Or, yeah, or discussing, you know, something that should not be discussed in front of somebody else that's on the phone. That's between you and that person that's on the phone. That should be discussed later in privacy, not in front of five or six other people. Colleen, people say, you know, I'm texting. I'm not really, ha- I'm not really interrupting anything. But when I'm with somebody and they're texting, I have two children. And if you want to get in touch with them, text them. <laughs> you know that. I think everybody knows that that have children of age that are old enough to do the right. texting thing. If you really want to talk to them, text them because they'll call- they'll text you back. But when somebody's having a text conversation, they're still having another conversation with somebody yeah. beyond me. And I'm one of these people that I kind of want your attention i i want to i want to see your eyebrows going up and down i want to see your eyes coming a little bit smaller bigger and what i want to see the expressions on your face i want to see the right. emotions that are coming in exactly and not having you another took the time yes you took the time you took the time off work you took the time out your saturday your sunday whatever it may be you took the time you drove wherever you might be whatever it is you took the time out of your day to be with them and all they're going is saying well you know so be it I'm going to take my time and I'm going to be with this other person, texting and talking to them, whatever it may be. I, I'm going to get caught up on all my messages right now. <laughs> Sorry you're sitting here with me. Have a drink, have something to eat. I'm going to get caught up on all my messages right now. So do we pretty That's much go, we go back to, like, our general manners of 
talking to people, looking them in the eye, making sure you're responding properly. Is that going to be what we need to focus on in this age of the cell phone where we're completely consumed with our own private little box? Exactly. And it's very hard for some people to do that. We've lost a lot of those graces of face-to-face conversation. It's very difficult for people to do that. And statistics are showing that every, every day that people, I'm not just saying for the younger generation, it's hard for some people to look people in the face and give them a conversation because we've gotten away from it. And Chuck, you alluded to it in the very beginning when you said 10 to 12 years ago. That's when all this started, very hot and heavy, where we started go to phones, go to text, put our heads down, and just started using our hands to talk as opposed to looking at someone and actually getting a true conversation with them. Freddie and I... Think about a dinner you know, meal. Yeah. You know, you go out to a restaurant. People at least always... I mean, when you go into a restaurant, look around how many people are texting or oh, talking on the phone it's as opposed pitiful. to actually looking to each other. Everybody. It's pitiful to watch a family like that all texting. I watched a family with four girls come into a bar that I was sitting in, a sports bar and stuff, and sat down nice, you know, a lot of uh, things and stuff. And everybody came in and sat down and pulled their phone out and checked their messages. And I thought, well, this ought to be a wonderful family get-together. Well, yeah, I got a picture at the 4th of July event, actually, of the whole row down Main Street in Fort Mill, and they're all sitting there on their phones texting. As we become become so good at communicating, we're getting worse at communicating. It's true. Colleen, Colleen, is that right? Exactly. Exactly. And now the sad part is, at least when we were emailing, because now we're getting away from emailing, now we're solely going to texting, and even business is starting to go to texting, now we've gotten away from even making them full sentences and full words, now we're going to one letter, and so now we're, I mean, heaven forbid, now we're getting away from cursive, now we're going away, getting away from spelling a whole word, so we're going to be... A, a whole, you know, nation of illiterate one letter word. So, yeah. <laughs> Ten years from now, you're going to interview me. I'm going to be talking to you only in one letter. LOL. So. LOL, Colleen. TTYL. That's right. <laughs> well, it's wonderful. You have a website where we can go to find more details about having etiquette in our society. Is that right? It's, it's correct, but it's only a couple letters. So, okay. but, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to combat this other than have manners ourselves and maybe have a little respect for our fellow friends and people around us? I, I, I try very, very, very hard to insist that people try to go to at least once or twice a week to have full meals, that everybody puts the cell phones down and encourage people to go to a meal within family and encourage offices that when they have their business meetings, that I know that people say, well, you use your phones, everybody uses your phone. That's how they take all their messages. Well, that's great, but insist that the message that they are taking solely are for that business meeting, that they cannot be checking other, you know, their personal friends. They cannot make sure that it's business, that it's only solely for business as there's, opposed to checking. And there's very few things you can't wait. I know. You know. You're right. Really. I know. I know. Unless it is a matter of life and death, and that's about it. Absolutely. So, Tell us your uh, website, Colleen, so that we can make sure that people know where to find information. It's ColeenReckenbacher.com or CRSpeaks.com. CRSpeaks.com. All right. Well, we'll keep it in mind. July being National Cell Phone Courtesy Month. We'll try not to talk in the grocery store aisles. Right. That's right. Try not to scare that's the people behind the counter. That's my biggest pet peeve. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Respect the person that's the other side. Just for those couple minutes. Give them those couple minutes of oh, your no. time. Oh, no. We want to know if they're, if they're getting ramen noodles <laughs> and stuff like that. We want to know. <laughs> Come on. For sure. Thank you so much this morning, Colleen Rickenbacker. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. She's in Dallas this morning. Yeah, that's right.